So this video is on the course of linear algebra and we are on the chapter of vectors in vector spaces. We are asked to prove that 1, the scalar 1 times vector u equals u. Uh, might look a bit funny this proof but the fact is that in mathematics sometimes the easiest things are the most difficult to prove. Okay, well, uh, vector u is in Rn, right? So u is a vector and the vector space Rn. So what is by definition u? u will be, will have the components u1, u2, to un, right? Okay, now the question is, what is 1 times u? So 1 times u will be 1 times u1, And a scalar times a vector is 1 times u1, 1 times u2, till 1 times un, right? But 1 times u1 is u1, 1 times u2 is u2, and 1 times un is un. And this is nothing else but vector u. So 1 times u equals u. And that concludes the proof. Now we are asked to prove that 0 times vector u equals 0 for all vectors in this vector space. OK. Um, OK, let us do what I'm going to call proof 1, OK, because sometimes we can prove a theorem or a proposition in several ways. OK, there are even some theorems that are overproved, meaning there are hundreds of proofs for that, like the Pythagoras theorem and some others we still don't have uh, one single proof. OK, let us use the, the, method, the method we used before. So what is 0 times u? That will be 0. And u is a vector with components u1, u2, un. So this will be 0 times u1, u2, un. And according to the definition of scalar multiplication, this will be 0 times u1, 0 times u2, 0 times un. OK, and according to here, we use the the usual operations in the real numbers. So 0 times u1 is 0, 0 times u2 is 0, and 0 times un is 0. So this is, by definition, vector 0. OK, so 0 times vector u, we got vector 0. And this concludes the proof. OK, let us think of a second proof for this. So in one of the previous videos, we proved that k plus k prime times u equals ku plus k prime u, where k and k prime are scalars in the real numbers and u is a vector in the vector space. OK, let us use this, that it is already proved, 
So this is also typical of mathematics. First you prove a proposition and then you can use that proposition to prove another proposition. Okay, so what is 0 times u? Well, 0 times u, using this proposition already proved, is the same as 0 plus 0 times u. Okay, and that is the same using this proposition as 0 times u plus 0 times u. Okay. Okay, so we have this equals this. Okay, let us rewrite it. We have 0 times u equals 0 times u plus 0 times u. Okay, so we are going to add minus 0u. We're going to add this to both sides on the right. Okay, we already proved what minus 0 times u is. Okay, okay we have 0 times u plus minus 0 times u on the left side. Uh, on this left hand side but we are adding on the right and here we have 0u 0u and we are adding on the right minus 0u so that implies that u 0 times u plus minus 0 times u equals 0 so, this implication is due to the fact that we already proved. This is due to the fact we proved that in a previous video is zero. Okay, this was already proved. So, we can write this implication here. It implies that zero times u plus minus zero times u equals zero. Okay? Now, this implies that 0 times u, we associated this to. Why is that? Because we proved, this is possible, because we proved before that u plus v plus w, if you have something like this, this to associate it, it's like u plus v plus w. Okay, so you can associate. Okay, vector addition is has this associative property. Okay, so we associated those two. Okay, so we can write this implication. Now for the next implication, I can I can write the same. Write zero equals. So I'm going to write O U plus plus so this is zero right due to this property okay this is zero so why can i say this because u plus minus u equals zero so i'm using all the properties that i proved okay i can only write these implications using the properties i proved so zero equals zero u plus zero but 0u plus 0 is the same as 0u, right? So, this we proved before that u plus 0 equals u, another proposition that we proved, right? Okay, so what do we have here? We began with 0 u and we just prove that that is equal to 0 and that is equal to 0 u and that concludes the proof